adding an off-form payment processor to your form. First, go to your settings page. Click on Integration Hub and Payments. I'm going to use PayPal Standard because that is the most commonly used payment processor integration. Click Add to add your payment processor. Once the integration settings come up, type in your PayPal email address. You can set your integration in test or production mode. If you don't need to test the integration, set it to production, choose your transaction type, either products and services, donations, or subscriptions, or recurring payments. I am just going to do one product. You can choose to do single item or multiple items. If you choose multiple items, you will need to manually name each item and select the price field from the dropdown. You don't need to set the quantity field if it's just one item, but you do have that option as well. Note, if you choose to map multiple items, your products will need to be in separate fields or the transaction information will not process and display correctly in your payment processor. You have the opportunity to name your item. This item name will display in your PayPal transaction details. I'm going to leave it as cupcake order form so that I know where my payments are coming from. Next, you will select your price field from your form. Since I have a total field, I'm going to map my total field to my price field. I don't have a quantity that I am mapping with my total field because I have calculated the quantities in that total field. So we just leave it blank. I don't have a shipping charge because I'm delivering the cupcakes and I don't have a tax. I will set my currency to US dollars. I also don't need to set an invoice number. However, you could do this for your own purposes. Display settings are optional. The page style field allows you to link to your custom PayPal user interface style sheet. The return URL field allows you to set a return URL that your users will be redirected to upon completion of their payment. Continuing text sets the text for the return to merchant button on the PayPal payment complete page. Cancel URL would be a URL that you would like to redirect users to if they decide to cancel their payment process. These fields are also optional. You can allow the individual to select a shipping address, but you can also check to not prompt the buyer to include a shipping address if you don't need that information. Same with a note. You can allow individuals to include a note with their payment, or you cannot prompt them to include a note. Mapping your customer information from your form to PayPal is optional. When you add the integration, you will notice that the fields are already pre-mapped. If you don't need to send this information to PayPal, unselect the mapping by bringing it back to Select Field. You can always reference your Formstack database for this information. Setting email options is also optional. You can check to only send confirmation and notification emails when payment is made. This is helpful because you may not want them to receive a confirmation email if they haven't paid, and you may not want to receive a notification of their submission if they have not paid. You can also choose to only run other third-party integrations when payment is made. This may be helpful if you are also adding contacts to high rise or constant contact. You may not want them to be included in your records if they have not paid. Make sure you save your settings. When users fill out your form, they will be redirected to PayPal to complete their payment. 